What do you do when you have health coach clients come to you as a couple? Maybe it's a married couple. Maybe it is mother, daughter, or sisters. Do you treat them as individual clients? Do you double the price? Do you give them a price discount because there's two of them? Do you have it structured so that they see you at the same time or independently? What should you do? So this question was prompted by one of my clients and she has a mother daughter situation. And she says, what do you do when it comes to couples? How do you handle it? What happens if they have different scenarios, different illnesses? So in this case, there's some overlap. Both of them have maybe a little bit of anxiety, wanting more energy, but one has more digestive issues. Issues. Somebody else has headaches. There's some differences, although there is certainly some overlap. And she says, would you raise your price when you're going to be spending more time with it? How do you handle it? Is it twice the price? So let's dive into this. It really does depend on the particular situation. And in this case with a mother daughter, how old's the daughter? So if the daughter is young and the mother is the one who's going to pay for it anyways, and uh, if the daughter's really young, the mother might be the one who's having to organize and make sure she's there for the appointment. Then it makes sense to maybe do something where they're there together or the mom gets the daughter on and it's mainly for the daughter. In this particular case, the daughter's a teenager, late teenagers, responsible, and will be able to show up on her own and no doubt the mother-daughter dynamic is part of it. You can take it on a case-by-case -case basis. If they're absolutely separate and they're two adults, let's say two sisters or husband and wife or a responsible teen, and they're absolutely separate, you can do those as separate clients. Now, sometimes you'll maybe give someone a referral bonus for a referral. So really the one index person, maybe the, the wife or the mother was the one who brought the other client to you. In that case, you can give them a little bit of a discount on the price because it's as if you were paying for a referral as a way of saying thank you because you didn't have to go out and get a second client. But it could almost be twice the price and you could do them separately. I've had it where I've had, say, for example, married couples. So if I did a married couple, it just again depended. So I saw them together. So normally if I would see them a client for an hour, in this case, I would see them for an hour and a half. And basically that was one and a half was what I charged them as well. It worked well. Both of them were looking for energy, weight loss, those sorts of things. So that worked well together. They lived together. So, you know, the wife was the one who was doing most of the cooking. So she was cooking for him. It was helpful that they were on the same page and it didn't take that much more of my time. So if it's similar and you're seeing them at the same time, maybe just for a little bit longer time on each session, I would take what you normally would charge. And if you're spending one and a half times more, one and a half times more, it sounds reasonable. I've also had where I've had two clients that are coming in at the same time. I had two sisters, for example, and two completely, this is now with helping health coaches, two completely different niches, different programs, different business plans. So they were too independent. I just happened to treat them as if they came in separately, independently. I treated them as two separate clients and I charge them what I charge everybody else. And they just happen to be related and know each other. I've also had a mother daughter that were working on one program, one niche, but they were doing their business together. So I charge those two as if they were just one, but I only met them the one time they were working on it together. It was as if it was one person. It was just kind of two entities really in that one program. So we, we ran it as if it was just one person. So in that case, it's separate. You can meet with them together. In this case where it's mother daughter and some of what they might want to talk about, the daughter might want to talk in private or the mom for that matter might want to talk about some things in private. And that's very healthy and healing for them to be able to do. So what you could do is a combination. So you could either, you got a couple of choices and it really depends on the dynamics and is it more the mother wants it? If you're bringing the daughter in, she has to have be a willing participant. If the mother is coming there saying, hey, I want health coaching. So can you get my bratty daughter in here and straighten her out? You do not want to deal with that. So regardless of whether you have one client or a group of five clients, every single client has to be a willing participant. <laughs> this is not something that they have to do. They 
have to want it. Uh, if they don't want it, if they're being push, pulled and dragged, whether it's a child, a, a parent or a spouse, if they're being dragged along, that dragging of the body is going to go all the way through and that's not going to be fun for you or them. So what I recommend is you do an initial consultation with each person and just find out from them. I recommend that be done one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't have to be long, but really find out. You'll get a good sense of, is this something this person is looking to solve? They might be 300 pounds overweight, but if they're not looking to solve it, it's not going to help. So all of your great solutions in the world are not going to be helpful if they're not receptive. So you want that client to have buy-in and you want to resonate with them. And that's where it can be helpful to have them on the side. So you just got to watch. Sometimes somebody wants to do a couple thing and they're kind of doing it, but they're not even caring about their own health. They want you to fix somebody else rather than take care of their own deal. And so each person has to be responsible for their own health, their own life. And so so that would be what I would encourage as you do that one-on-one -on -one consultation with each person and just vibe it out. What's the scenario? What's going on? So you can usually tell if one of the other partners is part of the, what do you want to call it? The uh, problem or contributing factor to the person's stress. You could either just do it separate. Now, if you're doing it separate, you can do as if they're two separate clients, you charge them as you would maybe giving a slight discount, as I was mentioning at the beginning, because of, you know, considering one as a referral, or you could do a combination. You can do a group together, mini group, two of them, and then do one on one so that you could do that could either be every week you connect with them. Maybe you start off with one person here and one person right after you can do that. Just got to be wary. Somebody else might be listening in. So there's that or just making them back to back 45 minutes separate some each of them, something like that, or you start combined together with just a little bit. If you're doing it sort of one and a half times, you're going to charge one and a half pricing that becomes most cost effective for them. So there's some stuff that you would probably want to teach them about nutrition, about hydration, about stress, about sleep. There's some things that you could teach them that would be appropriate for both of them, for all of your clients. And so that you could do together. Then let's say that's 45 minutes or 30 minutes of something that you're wanting to pass on as a group. And then you spend another 15 to 30 minutes at each one of them just looking at their situation in particular, but it gives them that opportunity to know that they themselves are being heard and doing that one and a half price is not a bad idea. So what my client was suggesting was really that is looking at what she would normally charge, then looking at double dialing that back. And it's about one and a half and charging about one and a half. And one of the ideas she thought of was she was not wanting to create a separate program just for these two people because that wouldn't be cost effective and efficient for her. You want to keep it as similar as your method of operation. So if you've been following me at all, you know that you can't be creating a hundred different programs for a hundred different clients. However, your one program, you can customize for a hundred different clients, if that makes sense. That's a huge difference. It might sound like semantics. It's a huge difference. One will have you scale with ease and have you be working in your zone of genius and excellence. And the other one will have you looking like jack of all trades and really struggling to find any clients. So that difference is, is subtle there, but it is important. So my client is right not to be looking at creating something new, but she can take what she has and where she she normally would maybe speak with them for 45 minutes each. She could do an hour and a half and but back to back so that there's a little bit of time. But because they're together, she wouldn't necessarily have to charge twice. So I hope that helps. Really, it is case by case. You want to make sure that every person has an opportunity to connect with you and you find out from them what is the problem that they want solved? What is most top of mind? Is that something that you know how to assist with? with, do they want your assistance with that? And are they willing to commit for the time period of your program? If that's all a go, check, 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 then great. It just might be feasible and more efficient 
for them to combine some of it together. Efficient for you because you don't have to say the same teaching parts twice and efficient for them because they can come together and maybe get a little bit of a price break versus having two separate people. So those are some of the things to consider. What are the niches? What are the dynamics in the relationship? Make sure you get a commitment from each individual person and then price it accordingly. Double if it's two separate people, one price if it's as if they're one and one and a half or so if it's sort of a combined option that works you know, in both their best interests. And all of those can be right answers depending on the scenario. So I hope that helps and congratulations on you for having a couple as clients. All right, be good for you.